In this video, we will try to find the z-critical values using the z-distribution table which is also known as the standard normal table or unit normal table. And we will go through some examples to understand the step-by-step -step procedure. The standard normal distribution is a special case of the normal distribution where the mean of the distribution is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. A normal distribution with a mean of mu and a standard deviation of sigma can be normalized to a standard normal distribution by using the z-score formula, that is, z equal to x minus mu divided by sigma. This is one of the ways to compute the probabilities for a normal distribution. A z-distribution table contains the left-tailed area under the standard normal distribution curve. In the standard normal distribution plot, it is the area lying on the left side of the z-value. Now, considering the following examples, let's start with the first case, where we need to find the z-critical values for a two-tailed 95% confidence interval. Since we are asked for a two-tailed 95% confidence interval, we have to calculate the lower as well as the upper z-critical values. However, we do not need to calculate both critical values because the standard normal distribution is symmetric about the mean z equals zero. The absolute values of the two critical values will be the same while the signs will be different. Now, for a 95% confidence interval, the significance level is 1 minus the confidence level, that is 1 minus 0.95. The lower critical value is the z0.025 and the upper critical value is z0.975. This means, in the z-distribution table, we have to calculate the z-critical value for alpha equals 0.975. Now, in the z-distribution table, locate the cell for the cumulative probability of 0.9750. The row and the column corresponding to the selected cell provide the z-critical value. The corresponding row is z equals 1.9 and the corresponding column is z equals 0.06. This means the z-critical values are 1.96. Now, the lower critical value is the minus 1.96. And the upper critical value is 1.96. Now, in the second case, we are asked for a z-critical for a left-tailed 90% confidence interval. For a 90% confidence interval, the significance level is 1 minus the confidence level, that is 1 minus 0.90. The critical value is z0.10. The critical value lies on the left tail of the distribution because the confidence interval is left-tailed. In the z-distribution table, locate the cell for the cumulative probability of 0.10. The row and the column corresponding to the selected cell provide the z-critical value. The corresponding row is z equals minus 1.2 and the corresponding column is z equals 0.08. This means the z-critical value is minus 1.28. In the third case, we are asked for a z-critical for a right-tailed 99% confidence interval. For a 99% confidence interval, the significance level is 1 minus the confidence level, that is 1 minus 0.99. The critical value is z0.99. The critical value lies on the right tail of the distribution. In the z-distribution table, Locate the cell for the cumulative probability of 0.99. The row and the column corresponding to the selected cell provide the z-critical value. The corresponding row is z equals 2.3 and the corresponding column is z equals 0.03. This means the z-critical value is 2.33. Try to attempt the following practice questions.